Hello, my name is Sophie. I am Director of Medical Education in Primary Care and Community here at UCL Medical School and I am a GP. And I've been involved in teaching the BSc here for around 12-15 years now and I would like to take this opportunity to tell you a little bit more about it and why it's a really interesting course to study and relevant to your future practice as a doctor. This BSc is about the organisation and delivery of healthcare, both in the UK and internationally, and thinking about the relationship between the two and what the commonalities and differences are. It's focusing both on the one-to-one -one, um, interactions within the consultation and thinking about the um, nature of those, but also the overarching principles of that consultation and the delivery of primary care. One of the main reasons I chose primary healthcare as BSc is that there are GP placements every Tuesday. Um, these were great because it just gave me an opportunity to see how GP practices run, which is something I hadn't really had the opportunity to have before. And also, I got to see patients one-on-one, -on -one, so that will hopefully put me in good stead for my clinical years. Doing placements like that meant that I was able to come in regular contact with patients and that's something that we don't get usually in the preclinical years. You, you get a few you know, patient interactions, maybe like three or four a year, but doing my GP placements every week, I was able to sit and talk to patients, learn how to take histories, learn how to feel comfortable around patients, and learn how to take histories in a way that's a natural conversation rather than clerking really methodically and like robotically. And it gave me confidence, which is something that you really need in fourth year and that takes a long time to build up. So the research methods is one of the biggest modules within the IBSC and it's a really exciting module. So as a department of primary care and population health, we're a world leading research department and our research covers a wide variety of different topics. So we research mental health, we do e-health, looking at digital health interventions and how that can support both patients but also professionals within the NHS and we also do a lot of ageing research as well covering dementia, frailty and Parkinson's disease and that will really be pulled into the research methods module and that means that the students will be taught by world leading experts within these fields of research and they'll use their research as examples of how research can make an impact on clinical practice. And my particular expertise are around qualitative research methods um, and I do a lot of research on dementia and palliative care. So I'll be pulling in quite a bit of the qualitative research methods within the research module and I'll also pull in a lot of the research that I've been doing on dementia and using that as a practical example and showing how various methodologies work. Yeah, or, or just doing the project mm -hmm. was um, really fun and um, being able to sit in a room with the GP and uh, sort of gather the data or the information um, and then transcribing it afterwards and getting the themes. It was something I hadn't done before and mm -hmm. I think qualitative research is um, really interesting now that I've done it and it's so not something that I would have done um, if I hadn't have done this okay. BSE. I was able to choose to do a research project on something that I wanted to do which I think is something quite unique to primary care compared to other BSCs. Um, and it meant I had really strong ownership of what I was doing. I didn't have to conform to research that was already being done by other people. Um, and I chose to do mine on periods in school age girls, um, something which I discovered I was really passionate about. Um, and I was able to go in and talk to all these girls about everything. And it was something I'd never done before and something that I'm really keen to learn more about. Um, so I think the research project was a really good introduction to research. And it was something I never thought I'd enjoy, but I actually really liked it. Um, and I've never been as proud as I was when I handed in my dissertation. So I would say that if you want to do a course where you get a lot of patient contact and learn how to talk to patients confidently, um, learn uh, how to view patients on a more holistic manner rather than just a scientific uh, perspective, um, and also um, want to do research in an independent way, then I think this could be the right course for you. So the digital health module is a brand new module that's been introduced in order to help us to teach students about cutting edge technology that's being used in the NHS currently. And that's things like um, digital tools for patients to help them self-manage long-term conditions, but also for things like problem drinking and for decision support tools to help people to make choices around things like contraception. 
And also we um, have experience of research within the area of how digital technology and remote consulting affects doctor-patient interactions and consultation um, types. So that's another area that we have a lot of expertise in. Another thing that we will be talking to students about is how electronic patient records are being used now for research and how we can collect data and use patient records in order to answer important research questions. So the new module in sexual health, gender and sexuality, we're very excited to be able to offer this year to IBSC students. Mm -hmm. It's been set up with lots of consultation with patients and with experts in sexual health and we'll be covering all kinds of topics. So sexual risk, sexual difficulties, sexual pleasure, gender and sexuality amongst many, many different topics. We'll be talking about trans healthcare, non-binary people. Another exciting element about the teaching and the assignment is that the assignment is a piece of science communication. So it's to take an idea that you want to convey, a health promotion message, and do a picture, so an infographic or a diagram or a poster to persuade people or inform them about a sexual health issue. So we'll be covering a lot of different topics within the multimorbidity um, module and one of the first things we're going to look at but is about how the health and social care systems line up together and interact together to support people with multiple conditions. And then we'll also be thinking about how going forward in the future the two services can align to better support people with multiple conditions. We're also going to look at some of the various aspects and factors within multimorbidity and we're going to focus on one of the areas around dementia because that's one of my expertise. If you're thinking about doing primary care, I'd say do it. Um, and I'd say, especially with your GP practice, really get involved. So from the first day, go in, go do your examinations, talk to patients on your own. Your GP is always going to be really welcoming. Um, so I'd say do that and just get your research project started early. Um, start thinking about ideas, um, but yeah, just get involved I think, it's a great year. <laughs>